Welcome to part three, day one. Yes, this table took us many days to complete, but it's because it's like my first real DIY project. Um, the days were spaced out over the course of a few weeks, and in this video, I'm going to show you how we took this table apart to make it into the luxury picnic table that I had in mind. So that's how the table corner joints were, and that's where the apron was attached to the table. And as you can see, they were very close to the edge before. The table came with this thing for electrical wires because they used, the previous owners used it as a desk, so I had to remove that. I'm thinking of using those two as purse hooks in my closet. And then we removed the two random screws. Um, not having the right tools sucks, so we left the nuts there and continued with the rest of the screws. So here we have all the pieces apart and this is how I want the corner to look when it's opened. I want the leg to be right up against the aprons um, but I also want it to fold just like that. So I'm going to have to round the leg in order for it to be able to pivot. Okay, so here I needed to remove those two so I could flip them over and start taking measurements and doing the math. Honestly, I don't know what was going on with my brain that day. Um, as I was adding clips into the video, I saw additional errors, so I'm just going to speed through all this. Now that we know where the aprons go, we screwed them into place. We made sure that there was wiggle room for the side aprons to move freely between the, the long aprons. Here I was trying to determine the total height of the table and I'd settled for 16 inches. And so what I did was I put the leg on the table and then the measuring tape directly on the ground and went up to 16. Then I took the measurement from the edge of the leg to the markings and then I copied that length onto the rest of the legs. So day two started on another late evening. Uh, husband started by cutting all four legs. Guys, why are power tools so loud? Anyways, they weren't perfect, but that's okay because we still had to round them. And we did that by marking the curve and then cutting the curves off. Next, we needed to determine where we were going to drill the hole for the bolt and then drilled it. Then he used the legs hole as a guide to drill the hole through the apron. To allow the leg to fold, we are using a 5 16 carriage bolt and a washer and a nut. Only rounding one side allows it to stop itself. Imagine we were in the other apartment. You Mexicans are drilling and building up. As you can see, he continued to drill holes on the on each leg and on the aprons.
And there we go. All the legs are on. The legs were still loose at this point because we hadn't tightened the bolts in all the way, which would like have them piercing the wood, uh, which would prevent them from moving. And we hadn't done that yet. Dun, da, da, dun, dun. You look short. <laughs> we could make it shorter. If it didn't work, we could have just kept these. Yeah. We could put it back on. <laughs> if it's too high, you won't be able to eat comfortably off of it. <laughs> it's a good height. But I mean, it does feel a little bit high for like eating. I couldn't wait to see what the stain would look like and it was also my first time ever staining any wood so yeah I messed up <laughs> next part coming up soon <laughs>